In this quick tutorial, we'll take another look at the smoke simulator. And now notice in here this uh, smoke is confined within the boundaries of this cube, or this rectangular cube, I should say. And But it's but I don't want it to hit the outside boundaries, and I'm controlling it with the spheres on the inside. So I have a sphere within a sphere. And then here's my flow particle right here. And it has its part it has the particle system set with it with a outputting in the z direction in the local axis. But these guys, spheres up here have collision objects. They're collision objects, both of them. So when the uh, particle takes off, it's actually hitting, uh, uh, it doesn't matter if I get it or not, it actually is staying within the confines of this. Now you say, oh no, it doesn't. Well, it actually does. It's because I have an animation effect. So you can kind of paint your smoke is the whatever you want. If I wasn't moving it along, like I have my keyframe set down here, if I just come back here and start the animation, you'll see that all the particles are generally staying within the boundaries of it, and then the objects are moving along at the same time, and then that's how I create that shape like this. So you can create all kinds of cool shapes by using all kinds of objects within the scene. That, And if I took out the keyframes, which maybe I'll just do real quick. Let's see. Where does I remove that one? And then make sure it's in the scene. Let's see. Can I move this over? Yeah, I have them parented to each other. So it's fully contained within the cube right now. And then when I run it, generally stays within the bounds of that sphere like that. And that's essentially what I was talking about. All right, and then you can see the particles blasting around. So, all right, well, that just kind of gives you an idea because I've alluded to that for, you know, in several tutorials right now. But, yeah, this is it right here. All right, I'll see you in the next lesson.